Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 5. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ariana Bennett filling in for Kristen and Landon tonight. Thank you for keeping it here. Now, last night we brought you the incredible story of a 12 year old boy who survived after being buried by an avalanche. He was found uninjured after being stuck under snow in the French Alps for 40 minutes. Now, rescue workers describe the situation as miraculous because they say chances of survival are minuscule after just 15 minutes under the snow. Now, police say among the reasons the boy survived was that his airways were not blocked by snow. That Sierra, of course, is no stranger to avalanches. Ski resorts in our area try to manage them as well as they can, but the terrain in the backcountry is another story. Paul Nelson shows us what people should know about avalanches before heading up to the mountain. It's a beautiful sunny day at Mount Rose and relatively safe from avalanches because of the work that goes into preparing the slopes. We try and trigger avalanches to prevent large avalanches from happening, but ultimately in avalanche terrain, avalanches are possible. Avalanches can happen in ski resorts, but they're not nearly as common as in the backcountry. Places like this, and there's plenty of people out here today, they say that if you do hit the backcountry, make sure you know the risks, have a plan, and be prepared. It's fun, it's beautiful, and you get really great terrain, but, you know, it is, it is very dangerous. It's extremely dangerous, and so, if you're not trained, you have no business being out here whatsoever. Experienced skiers say they know the risks of going into the backcountry, but say it offers something you can't get in other places. We get fresh tracks almost every time we go. Then there's the quiet, the solitude, and you're just not confined by the lift, and you really have to just watch out for the trees and not the other skiers. Skiers should check the avalanche forecast before they head to the backcountry, and it's best to go with a partner and carry the right equipment. If I were going to try and find them or locate them under the snow, I would go to search. Ferrari has a beacon, a shovel, and a probe stick. I'm going to probe down, probe around. And his backpack has an airbag that increases a person's surface area to keep them above the snow. Sort of like a bag of potato chips. The little particles go to the bottom and the big particles come to the top. And if you do get buried in the snow, try to make an air pocket. Basically put your hands over your mouth or around your mouth so that you're going to have a void in the snow where you're going to be able to breathe some air for a while. You ready to go? The Mount Rose Ski Patrol also has three dogs that have all been on searches before. This golden retriever named Bacchus trains five days a week on the mountain. The dogs just love to play. It's all about a play drive for them. And they're far faster and, and better at searching than any of the tools that we've created. Covering the big story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. At the National Ski Areas Association says the majority of avalanche accidents happen in the backcountry, but that eight people have died because of inbounds avalanches over the last 10 years.